friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No who fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 15 before going ahead with Part 16. Now we will study kinetic interpretation of temperature. That means what does kinetic theory interpret about temperature? It says that the average kinetic energy of a molecule is proportional to the absolute temperature of the gas. That means the average kinetic energy is proportional to absolute temperature. Now, now we will see how is it. Just now we saw that the pressure of an ideal gas according to kinetic theory is 1 by 3 m into n v square bar. Right? Now let us multiply V on both sides. So we get 1 by 3 M N V into V square bar. Now let us now let us suppose we multiply and divide by 2 on our right hand side. So we get 2 by 3 N into M V by 2 to v square bar. So this can be written as 2 by 3 n into v half m v square bar. I am just rearranging the terms, nothing else. So what is this n into v? What do you think small n is? n is number of moles or number density. So n is number of molecules per unit volume. That is number density. So n into capital V will be equal to capital N. That is number of molecules. So this will be n into half m v square bar. Now, now look at this carefully. So what is this? Capital N into half m v square. That means total number of molecules multiplied by the kinetic energy. This is the number of molecules in the gas sample. Number of molecules in the sample of the gas and half mv square is the average kinetic energy. So this becomes equal to PV is equal to 2 by 3 E. Now, based on this expression, we will do kinetic interpretation of temperature. So, on the basis of this, this forms the basis of our kinetic interpretation of temperature. So, this is the basis of kinetic interpretation of temperature. Now, from ideal gas equation, we know that PV is equal to mu rt. Now what is mu? Mu is the number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. What is r? That is kb into Avogadro's number into t. So from this we know that pv is equal to n into kb into t. So this is one equation. Let us name this equation as equation 2 and let us call the previous equation as equation 1. Now if you see that the left hand side of equation 1 and 2 are the same. So we can equate 1 and 2 because they both are basically the same. So we can say that 2 by 3 E is equal to N K B T. Or we can say E is equal to 3 by 2 N K B T. Or we can say E by N that is the total energy, the average kinetic energy per mole is equal to 3 by 2 K B into T. Now if you look at this equation, what is this? E by N is the average kinetic energy. This is average kinetic energy. What is this? 3 by 2 into Kb. This is a constant. We already know that Boltzmann constant is a constant for all gases. And what is T? 
T is our absolute temperature. So what do you see? You see that the average kinetic energy is proportional to the absolute temperature. So absolute temperature is the only factor that determines the average kinetic energy of an ideal gas. So till now temperature was just a measurable parameter of a gas which was used to measure something. But now this measurable parameter has been converted to a molecular quantity because temperature has become equivalent to the average kinetic energy. So we can say that temperature has been interpreted as a molecular quantity. So this is a very important consequence of the kinetic theory. If you see in, in, the, in one of the first few slides, I told you that why is kinetic theory a success? In that I had mentioned that it gave interpretation of, it gave molecular interpretation of temperature and pressure. This is what I meant. It gave a different recognition to these measurable parameters, temperature and pressure. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.